Hello, hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today I bring you the trending news that has been trending since January 17th and uh, this is because President William Samoei Ruto made an allegation that there was a plot to kill and kidnap the former IEBC Wafula Chebukati. So recently we can see this month Wafula Chebukati just resigned from his post together with some other two IEBC officials and many people are congratulating him for the job well done in August 2022 during the general elections. So also President William Ruto was among the people who congratulated Wafula Chebukati for his job well done. However, he made an allegation that there was a plot to kill Wafula Chebukati. And this is what has started the internet because many people are trying to understand what does the president actually mean. Does it mean that uh, he actually knows that there was somebody who was trying to actually kill Wafula Chebukati? How did he come to get the news and why is he setting it now and not last year? So among some of the angry Kenyans, Mother Karua made a post on her Twitter and here is what she said, I quote, Why would such a serious allegation of attempted kidnap and murder of at IBC Kenya chair be made six months after the election? And why is the allegation by Mr. William Ruto, a third party and not by Chipukati himself? So this has actually caused so, so many steers among people, including Mother Karua. She is actually... Um, worried why is this coming now and not last year during the election and she further stated why did Chebukati not disclose this to the court during the presidential petition or better still report the matter to the police six months into the Ruto regime why has no action been taken if this allegation has an iota of truth so she's actually stating if indeed this is true why did President William Ruto not take serious action because he's in chair and uh, here are some of the reactions people made when mother Karua said and trying to contradict President William Ruto's statement. Someone stated the government should be very clear with these allegations since we want to know who killed Msando and other IEBC officers. Another person stated improving the living standards of all Kenyan citizens within 100 days in office will be a priority for our next government come 2027. Other people had to say, let the court decide Mother Karua should be a believer in the due process. Everybody who has information, including Ruto and Mother herself, should provide it. We witnessed on live television what happened at Bomas. We must be told who the penetrators of the heinous act are. Another person stated, who is Chepukati? Yet Msando and Kene were murdered. So if you go back uh, to the time of uh, during elections, we can see that someone known as Msando and some other IBC officers were killed and we still do not know who killed them and people want investigations to be done on also the other IBC officers. Another person also stated... We ended elections in August 9th, 2022. All the constitutional processes were followed, so it's time to work any party which feel unsatisfied. There's always next general election. Come 2027, let them be patient. Another person stated he wants polit he want politics. Baba and the team just responded with politics. The only difference is that there is the president and will bl not blame anybody. Another person stated, what will the kidnap attempt going to solve Kenyan's hard hit economy? Another person stated Chebukati should be real hero whom the government of the day could not bring down, Bure Kabisa. Another person also stated, government need to tell Kenyans who killed Msando, Juma and the rest and why. So based on people, people don't want to focus on whatever happened last year because it is the past and people are worried if it is brought up, it could bring chaos and this is what people don't want. We just want peace in the country. And we just want bygones to be bygones. What do you people think about this? Should this be brought up right now? Or should it have been brought up last year after the general election? Or when uh, Chebukati was uh, called upon by the Supreme Court during the election petition? What do you people think about this? Uh, let me know your comments and your views in the comment section. Also remember when you're commenting, this is not, uh, it has actually not been proved to be right these are still allegations so don't comment anything that can bring chaos so don't forget also to subscribe and like this video we meet in my next video asante